this is me. I'm what you would call an artist. However, I practice pretty much every form of art except one. Painting. Yes, the most stereotypical art form to practice in the history of art. You say the word art to a non-artist, they're probably gonna think of some renaissance paintings or something. So, I decided that I'm gonna try it, because why not? Today, I would begin the journey that is painting a painting. I sat down with an empty canvas, not knowing the absolute TORTURE that lie ahead of me. I started by sketching my OC, Penelope Rodriguez, thinking that'd be cute, Pinterest-worthy artwork that would be fun and therapeutic to make. Spoiler alert, it was not, because I had made a grave mistake painting over the sketch. This one decision caused me more grief than when I flipped the canvas and see the absolute abomination that's is before my eyes. You see, this paint that I was painting a painting with was no ordinary acrylic paint. I had gotten this paint at the dollar store, like last year or something. Which means, this paint was cheap and translucent, not opaque. So no matter how many times I tried painting over this blue spot of destruction, it would never go away. Not even at the end. Not only that, because I wanted this painting to take place at sunset, I tried to mix a color that would look like skin at sunset, because I was painting skin at sunset. However, the color I ended up mixing made her look like she had a tan worse than the one from that one Spongebob episode. She was built like an orange. Probably because I used way too much neon orange. As you can see from that beautiful footage I just showed you, I wasn't playing around no more. It was time to finish this. I I don't know what else to write for the script. Uh, uh, um, insert a witty joke. As you can tell from that very well thought out uh, script, so-called script, uh, I was... I totally know what to say. Recording unexpectedly stopped. Uh, in fact, I know so well that I'm just gonna stop talking because because it's embarrassing and sad and pathetic. Uh, goodbye. Oh dear, what is that visual cacophony of colors I'm putting onto the skirt? It just doesn't look good, oh dear. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, looking back on this footage, um, I don't understand why I made a lot of the choices that I made. Like, Penelope doesn't have those red lines on her sleeve and collar. I, I don't know why they're there, but they are. Um, also those hands. Are we, just, are we just not gonna talk about them? Wow, I am really butchering this skirt right now. Oh my gosh, someone needs to call the fashion police for this. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is the final video that I have to edit through. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. You know, this time when I'm talking, I'm gonna try and say some useful stuff and inform about what's going on instead of like, just yapping. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try doing that. Uh, so, in this phase of the painting, I was just doing the finishing touches because Everything was pretty much finished, except for the background. I guess that also counts as a finishing touch. I, I had clouds, and uh, I also later I come in with my Posca markers. They're like a, they're like markers, but acrylic paint instead of ink. 
they're really cool and I use them to uh, draw on like the really finishing touches the finishing touches to end all finishing touches basically okay what, what am I even saying Wait, my, my brain is haywire guys help also I had you see that like curtain bang that's just hanging around doing whatever it wants I had that there so that like you wouldn't see my face I wouldn't have to edit out my face so much because I knew that would be annoying as you can see very visibly it did not help <laughs> like I still had to edit out my face so much like at this point I recorded this like a few weeks ago and then like for a while I was very demotivated because the video files were so large and I recorded them on my mom's phone and you know it's my mom's phone I don't really get too many chances to use it long enough to like airdrop a 60 gigabyte video to my laptop <laughs> uh, so yeah that stopped me for a bit but then eventually I just did it because what kind of a wimpy excuse is that it's not even an excuse it's just an excuse so here we are with this video that you are now watching this experience if I am going to leave with one thing from this experience this put the pain in painting for me, okay? <laughs> like I said at be the, be the, the beginning, I thought this was going to be a nice therapeutic experience that would calm me down. <laughs> it was not. It was just, like, because I didn't know what I was doing, it made this kind of stressful. Like, for the, the skirt, for example, you saw how much I painted over that skirt trying to get it right because I didn't know what I was doing. But thank god, by the end, I did actually end up liking the result. Like, I know I just said that this experience put the pain in painting for me, but in all honesty, this was fun. I, I enjoyed this, even if it was, like, kind of, like, traumatizing. It was fun. It was a fun kind of traumatizing. You know, I don't think that's a thing, actually. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a very different video for me to make. I, I know it's not the usual animation meme with gotcha club characters, but it was fun to make this one, and I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, goodbye. God bless you guys.